what's up guys let's get right into it today i played star ocean the divine force uh a game i'm happy i tried out confession i've never played a star oceans game before i'm into jrpgs but i just never tried any of the star ocean games before so the best way i could describe star ocean the divine force is well paced and let me explain there's fighting there's exploring and then there's the villages I never felt like I was lingering in an area for too long, uh, whether it be battling enemies, exploring, or in a village. Everything was quick, quick, quick. Uh, and so the demo takes you what? It took me about a couple of hours. I, I went up to two villages, maybe three biomes. In combat, uh, you got your square, triangle, and circle. You can assign different skills to those, and then you unlock a drone in the game and he will give you the R1 ability, which you can fly, which adds more speed to the exploration. Really quick, before we get to how you have that move, let me explain the story really quick. So you're, you play as Raymond, you're on a ship and they do a really good job with the cutscene, by the way. I really felt, I felt like I was a part of this team, almost like Guardians of the Galaxy, but not as funny. Uh, so the ship gets attacked and you crash land, you decide to just go off in in pods and you crash land on an underdeveloped supposedly underdeveloped planet where they don't have space travel and you play as raymond you're trying to find your crewmates I think there's nine of them and you're trying to find them and i guess that's the game i don't know who knows so when you land you get out of the pod you set off you get attacked by an enemy with no weapons well, you have no weapons you get saved by princess and her bodyguard so that's Leticia and Albert, which they're pretty cool. They're, they're a nice personality as well. Like whoever wrote these characters did a good job. I, I like these characters. So they give you a sword and that's where you learn your combat maneuvers. Every battle, the game was just throwing new mechanics at you, which is fine. Cause at first it felt a little overwhelming, but you know, as you play, obviously it's just, you know, cause you're a little nervous from, I guess, starting off, but as you play, you get used to it and everything starts to make sense. It's a little overwhelming at first, I will say. The game isn't loosey goosey, fast and loose with its combat. There's a charge meter that you have to maintain, um, the AP meter. So as you attack, you that wastes, and then you have, need to cool it off in a way. So it'll recharge once you either dodge out of the way, run around, or switch to another character, which it does very seamlessly, very fast. Think of Final Fantasy VII Remake in that regard. It switches off to another enemy, to another uh, player really fast, really quickly you can decide to attack as them which i didn't do after a while i just chose to stay with raymond because you know i was managing that bar pretty well i didn't need to switch off to another character i didn't feel the need maybe i will on the full release and when you're attacking enemies after you win battles you get orbs these kind of gems these orbs that let you power up your skills so that's cool there's a skill tree you can actually mess around with obviously for the demo couldn't go too far in the skill tree but you know i powered up a little bit i powered up the attacks on to level two on most of my skills so you continue exploring you get a little further into the story maybe another half hour you find a drone which was i guess part of your ship they sent a drone off in a pod as well and that drone is like a ghost if you play destiny it's like a ghost that hangs around with you and he gives you even more powers so with r1 now you can either you can fly you can glide up like batman arkham city style and i i love that they added that verticality to the game it opens it up it opens i feel like any game that adds a verticality is just a feeling of it just opens up the game a lot more so that's what the drone does during exploration the drone also helps you during battle it gives you my favorite attack which i need this attack in every jrpg that i play from now on every action-based jrpg i need this attack you see a group of enemies you lock onto one you press r1 he charges up and zooms in and attacks the enemy to surprise attack them which actually stuns the enemy and it, it it boosts the power of the attacks i believe it boosts the power of the attacks you finish them off quicker and it sometimes i want to say it stunned enemies around that one enemy as well this game is all about planning your attacks and i like i like what they did there with that with the ap meter planning that and managing that meter and then planning attacks accordingly where you could have to surprise enemies from behind and stun them and you know to survive because you i died maybe two times you will die i don't know if that means i suck but 
I died like twice. I got overwhelmed by enemies really quickly. The one thing I will say, the AI was not the best. My partners died twice during battle with a boss. I mean, I was able to defeat the boss by myself, but it's like, come on, help me out a little better. But whatever, that was fine. You know, you do a quick heal once, you, once you're in the stop menu, which the healing was very weird. I haven't heard anybody talk about that. You actually have to give your, your, um, you actually have to give your party members healing items, almost like in Pokemon where you give the, the Pokemon a berry. Like you literally have to give them items and then they will heal. You can heal from those items that you give them during battle, or you need to wait until you're out of battle and then heal. Now, there's no, I didn't have any healing spells yet. I don't know if you will unlock those later in the game. There's no healing spells where you can just heal your party really quick. Like I said, the final part of that perfect pacing was the villages. There was two villages in this demo, really, really lovely, quaint little villages. Uh, you pretty much just sleep at the inn. They wake up, talk a little bit with your partners, which there, I feel like there is a relationship simulator somewhere in here. You know, it told me to talk to my partners and that, you know, to do that wisely, to plan who you talk to wisely, because it will develop them further. I don't know. It didn't really show me that in the demo, but I'm pretty sure it'll be like persona where they'll help you in battle or they'll get stronger. You know, your bond with them will get stronger. So that was cool. Those three things, the exploration, quick and breezy, fighting, quick and breezy, villages and story. Story was compelling. I like these characters. I want to help these characters. I want to find my crew members and I want to see what this princess is up to. Really, really lovely game. The graphics look great. I haven't even talked about the graphics yet. Uh, colorful, bright. I'm on PS4 Pro. I don't have a PS5 yet. I know. Boo me. The, which I think that's most of us, right? Most of us don't have a PS5. Brag in the comments and tell me that you have a PS5. Um, the frame rate was, I chose performance mode. The frame rate was still iffy. I was even checking my monitor settings, making sure it wasn't my monitor or something. Cause I chose to prioritize frame rate and it still felt a little, little laggy. God only knows how prioritized graphics will play. I'm a fan of the biomes. The biomes were cool. It's a fantasy setting, obviously star ocean. It's in space. So, you know, you expect things to be very sci-fi fantasy, which I loved. I loved, I loved, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Can't wait to play the full release. If you played the demo, guys, let me know what you thought. If you didn't play the demo, try it out. I think you'll like it if you're a fan of just action JRPGs. I think if you liked Final Fantasy VII Remake, you're going to like this game. Hands down, you're going to like this game. Give it a shot. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one.